As we edge closer to the start of the brand new squeaky clean 2022-2023 League 2 campaign, slowly but surely we're starting to see the new home shirts appear, of course, around the bloody country. Who's got the greatest? Who's got the worst? We're going to take a little look at the early kits right about now. Today we're taking a look at the uh, home kits for the 2022-2023 League 2 campaign and we'll get to that in just a second. Of course, if you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang up today. All things League 2 related, Baba Nova related, woo, football related, we're all here boys. Under one Ruski, of course, yes, uh, the season is edging closer. Of course, the, the kits are slowly but surely starting to show their faces. Of course, still got a, a few kits left, but we've got the, the main of it and we're going to rank them from hero to zero uh, in just a second. Of course, big shout out to my VR. RPs, they're the patrons, guys. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it, of course, and jump into the Vortex, which, of course, is my tier list system. And we're going to zoom right in, right there, of course. So here we go, then. We're going to rank them from Elite to, to Crap. We're going to start with a nice red one here, and that is, I think, Swindon Town. Of course, uh, playoffs the last time around. Uh, Puma, the kit, all red, uh, with some sort of funky background going on. Psychedelic black uh, sleeves and collar. Uh, white Puma, first city group. It looks good, doesn't it? It looks clean. Nothing too bad about this, and everything seems to be going uh, the way I like it. Of course, the, 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 the pattern in the background is all over the place and it continues on the sleeves and it doesn't look like any abrupt stop. So for me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give Swindon something to get excited about and put this shirt up there. I mean, great. It's a great bit of kit. And if I was a Swindon fan, I would be all over this one. Uh, next up, this one's a bit debatable, isn't it? Uh, you either love it or you hate it, kind of like Marmite. It is Newport County. Pure Vans, the sponsor. Hummel, the brand maker. Yellow and black. Uh, honeycomb, honey thing. Uh, I don't know. It is. There's a much. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? There's a lot going on. Um, for me, uh, again, like Marmite, I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, it's not. It's not horrific, but it's it's close. It's close to being. It's close to being crap. Uh, it's a bit too much. And again, you got to think about what happens in ten years' time. You look in your cupboard and you think, "Is this shirt? Could I still get away with wearing this?" I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm going to put them in an okay. I'm going to give it a little bit of flex. Uh, the colours are good. It's always difficult with yellow. Um, and the Newport County look pretty poo. Next, of course, is Grimsby Town back from, of course, their season in the Vanarama National League. And they're back and they're excited about it. Uh, they've got the little uh, fishy sort of logo in the black and white stripes, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. I don't really like it myself. My energy, again, these sponsorship things on stripes is a difficult, it's a difficult beast. We've seen it uh, up the leagues. And again, it looks... I don't like it. I don't like this. The, the, the way they box around the logo. I think it's intentional uh, to so that the, the the energy can be seen, visible. You know, it's not a bad looking logo, but if, yeah, I, I can't really, I can't really, I can't really get excited. Again, it's Macron, decent, kind of, again, hit and miss Macron this season. The boxing around the sponsors for me, is a no-go. Forget about it. If you got that, you're, 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 you're going to struggle. Uh, next, of course, we have these bad boys. I believe it's Rochdale coming at you with, of course, blue and uh, black. Stripes, colour looks ass. Uh, the white sleeves look okay. Crown oil, again, with, the, with stripes, it's always difficult. Uh, they've gone for thick, thick, uh, thick font on the uh, on the crown oil, or gone with the logo, I guess. Uh, but the, the collar leads it down. Traditional colours, of course, um, and I don't really, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be brutal. I don't really like it, to be honest with you. And again, it's not horrific. It's just not good. It's just not good, is it? I, I, I'm just being honest with you. I'm giving you my gut. I've only seen these for this for the worst one time. Uh, next up, we have Carlisle United with Bimson uh, by Era. Uh, coming at you with the course traditional. It looks like a PSG knockoff, really, doesn't it, when you look at this. Uh, down the middle, there's some sort of army sort of uh, camouflage effect with the blue um, uh, 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 sponsorship here. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get excited about it. I'm trying to get excited about it. Um, underwhelming, it's underwhelming sort of shirt from uh, Carlisle. I don't like it. And again, when you look back, this actually could be. I nearly put it. I'm not going. I'm not going to be that bad on you. I'm going to put it there on an okay. 
we've been we've been we've been not really been given anything nice really besides the Swindon shirt. We're struggling here to get to get into it. Uh, so let's get some more red shirts. Then red seems to be doing all right. Uh, we do have Crew. Uh, I, you know what? I do like their their brand, the Morn Flake uh, Mighty Oats. That always adds value, and they do it very very well. And they've done it uh, again with the with this shirt. Uh, uh, FBT. Not too sure what that means, but uh, looks good, doesn't it? Again, it's going to compete with the likes of Swindon. But for me, if I had to sh choose between these two right here right now, I'd go with Crew because that Mornflake uh, brand, the whole logo, uh, it just adds an extra an extra element to it. That does it, the, your choice of sponsor and the way the sponsor looks on the shirt adds so much value to it. I, I would buy this shirt. I would actually buy the shirt um, purely. Because of that Mournflake Mighty Oaks thing. Uh, next up, of course, we have who are these guys? These are Stockport County, of course, back in the big time in the Football League. EFL, Puma, the shirt, uh, going with a bit retro vibe here, kind of like Manchester City of the 90s. Um, again, competing in that northwest region, uh, trying to get, get their fans back. It's an okay shirt, cleanish for the most part. The sleeves are all, all blue. So there is a bit of a separation between the, or the messy sort of middle, uh, but I like it, and the, and the Puma stands out as being all white and goes with the, the collar. So it's a good-looking shirt as well. Doncaster Rovers next. Uh, they're coming at you with, of course, the red and white hoops. And again, this looks like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's the image, but it looks like a girl shirt. Don't, don't, don't get me wrong, it looks like a girl shirt. The logo looks absolute shit. Uh, Oxen. Again, it's unusual. I like it. I like the Oxen. It kind of looks like Blair Witch Project the logo. Um, the badge is sort of iconic, standard for me. I do like the badge. But the Eco Group lets it down. The collar lets it down. Ugh. I like the logo, though. I like Oxen. Blair Witch Project. Bring it on. Uh, yeah, the collar. The collar. It's just, it's just, it's just certain, certain things just instantly put me off. Off putters. Uh, uh, Gilliam. Macron again. Interesting one, this one. Blue, again, they seem to be going all around the place, which is good. Uh, they've decided to be bold with the with the, uh, with the with the background here. And the, the, it seems to go across the chest, the arms and everything. Uh, the picture does seem to be strong enough. Uh, the colour looks good as well. It's a good looking shirt. And it's blue, stuck, stinks out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it up there with the crews of this world. So it's a great shirt. I think great shirt. Well done. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Walsall, coming at you with Poundland. Poundland.com, whatever. You know what? I, I wanted to hate this one. I really wanted to hate this shirt just because it said Poundland. No, just, I love Poundland. I'm a, I'm a regular guy. When I go to England, we go to Poundland. We go to the Pound store. I love it because you can get some bargains. You really can. Uh, and I thought when I saw this Poundland spot, I thought it was going to be a Poundland shirt looking like shit. But it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. But the Poundland does cheapen it. It does make it look cheap. If it said Ferrari across that, you'd be like, yeah, all right. Yeah, buy it. The background looks good. Saddlers and all sorts of shit going on in the background. The Saddlers and all kinds of fonts and shapes and stuff. All red. or oh, era. So it's a good shirt. It really is. And again, if the sponsor was a little bit different, it would be elite. It would be an elite looking shirt. Wow. Bradford City could be a big year for them. Big Dick Smallwood, uh, Starman, Harry Chapman, Smart Hughes as well. Shirt looks good. Collar looks good. The stripes uh, look great and consistent. And they look like they go up and down from, from this image. The sponsor, they've got it right as well. Completely different colour to what's going on elsewhere. It looks good. Well done, uh, Sparky and the boys and the, and, the, and the marketing team. I think they've got an absolute cracking shirt here. Uh, next up, we have Tramir Rovers. Tramir Rovers. Well, do we have a look at this one then, shall we? Of course, not the greatest picture for Tramir Rovers. Uh, he does look he does look stock, though, this guy. Uh, and again, this image here for whatever company that is looks pretty cool, kind of like Spartans. Uh, it's got a sort of ripped or scratchy effect on it, which can be either a hero or a zero. The image does let it down a little bit of the quality, and maybe I need a better image. But I'm going to give this uh, uh, the benefit of the doubt. Put it in good. And give it some company in there alongside Stockport County. Uh, here we go again. This is this is this is how it's how weird how weird the shirt. I'm going to take these two for example. We'll blow these up. You know, if if uh, Walsall had Stevenage's sponsor, we'll be talking. We'll be talking elite elite shirt. Poundland, I think, deserves to be on this shirt because I think it does look a little bit shitty, don't you think? Don't you bloody think? I don't like the Steven shirt. I don't know what's going on with his, the, <coughs> the stripes. They abruptly stop. Either you keep them going or you don't bother. Don't bother with them. The gradient, the red to black. 
I don't like it, buddy. So you're trying to be something that you're... <clears throat> I think you've got a good manager this season. But I, I, this is borderline. This is borderline down here. In fact, I'm going to stick it down there. I'll stick it down there. Don't like it. Oh, my gosh. Lane or it. My goodness. Is he going to be like a, a darts player with this shirt? Not much room left out for out else. A good message, though. It is a good message. Shout 85258. I'm sure. It, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't live in the UK. I don't know what I know. It's probably for, like, a helpline, and which is good. And maybe that does take up a lot of shirt. The sh I'm, I'm, we're gonna have to be. We have to. Gonna, we have to be brutal here. We have to be brutal with with regards to the shirt. I don't like the background. I don't know what's going on. They've got a chessboard at the background. They've got some slashes in there as well. Uh, it is red of late and orient and the black as well, which is fine. White puma looks good. The, the the logo is there for a reason. I get it. I get it. I get that. And I'm gonna give that an extra bit of flavour. But the background does look pretty ass. So let's just let's just take this. To, let's just take this. Let's, if with the shout thing wasn't there, the shout thing wasn't there, which is got for a good reason. We we get that. Take that off. Stick stick first city bank or whatever the heck that is from Swindon Town on top of that shirt. Um, that would be probably crap to okay. The shout sponsor. Well done, Leighton Orient. Smart move. That adds to it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put you. Purely for your sponsor, it does take up a shit ton of the space, but the reason there's reason behind, there's logic behind that. Of course, if we just talk about sponsors and, and and everything like that, I'll put it in elite purely because of the reason behind it. But it does, it takes up a shit ton of the space. The background of the shirt looks ass, so but there you have it. Another assy looking shirt, no disrespect, is I think this is Sutton United, Angel Plastics. Mm. You're going to regret one of these. You're going to regret this one further down the road. Especially if you if you make the big time, I know it's a long way away. But uh, what's going on here? What is going on here? Forget about it. You're going to join Steamage down there. O'Neill's again a company that uh, doesn't get much attention. Well done for that. But the it's definitely different though. It, you know what? If, I'll give them a bit of kudos. But it is pretty ugly though, isn't it? It is ugly. No, it's, again my taste. You know, if I was a Sutton fan, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the history is. And then finally, I think this is Barrow. Barrow shirt, Puma. It's not a bad looking shirt. Uh, but, uh, again, I can't believe they're still here though. I can't believe they're still in the EFL, but they are. Uh, Puma shirt on the cuffs as well. It's not bad. It's a pretty good shirt. Hornby, the sponsor looks pretty shitty and ugly. The way it's presented. And again, it's probably a local business. So give them a, a credit for that. Uh, I'm going to put you in the middle here alongside these guys as well. So uh, if I had to choose uh, out of these, which one is elite? Bradford's up there for me. And I also would put the cornflake guy. I think that's a cracking looking shirt. Those are the two for me that win it. For me, that's it. That's my take. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen of them of the twenty-four. There's another eight to be to be had to this list. Uh, I think, and these are just my home shirts. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Do you agree or disagree with my my take on the shirts for the season? Let me know down below. But until then, guys, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check the links down below, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. And again, we'll have a, a, a extensive coverage, hopefully, of the two this season. But until then, guys, let me know your opinions about the shirts down below. But until then, boys and girls, we are done for now.